Well, good morning. This morning we read from Romans chapter 4 and verse 16 through to chapter 5 and verse 11. The first thing this passage always reminds me of is that uh, rather silly children's song that we used to sing years ago. Father Abraham had many sons. I am one of them and so are you. And then we move various parts of our bodies around, right arm, left arm and so on. Um, But here in this passage we see the root of that chorus. Uh, because by faith Abraham trusted and believed in God, um, God made him the father of many nations, of those under the law and of those who uh, were not under the law, but who had the same faith as Abraham. Um, And so Abraham is our father, our spiritual father, our ancestor in the faith as the first one who trusted God. And then there's a puzzling little bit of uh, scripture. Against all the hope, Abraham believed in hope without weakening his faith, or one translation says without wavering in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about 100 years old and Sarah's womb was also dead. And yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God. But he did waver, didn't he? We think about it, Abraham uh, took his... uh, his wife's slave, Agar, and got her pregnant with Ishmael uh, because he didn't believe that God was able to raise up a child for him. And so this passage has always puzzled me because it seems to not be correct. Isn't it good that God overlooks our unbelief if we return to faith? Or everyone has some doubts. Everyone uh, would uh, be... Uh, questioning the possibility of whether Sarah could give birth, uh, considering how old she was and how old Abraham was too. But when the angel spoke to him, he believed God. At that time, he didn't waver in his faith. That's what the writer uh, Paul is referring to, that having received God's message, he put aside his doubts and trusted God. It wasn't that he never had doubts, but when he heard God's word, he put them aside. Let's make sure that's our, that's what we do today. We may have doubted all kinds of things. We may be struggling with doubts, but as we hear the Lord's word, let's put aside our doubts and trust in him. And then God will see it as we didn't waver in our faith and accredited to us as righteousness through faith. So much we could say about the uh, passage in chapter 5. I may return to it. I will return to it tomorrow. The Lord bless you for today. Amen.